Hello my friend, welcome! I'm John Silva and today I want to show you a very awesome technique that's gonna blow your mind regarding working with big projects and multiple projects using Affinity Design 2.0. So if you are interested to learn much more about Affinity, just leave here the like and let's get started. Well, first of all, I, ha I have here this project that I did for a client of mine and I need to tell you this. This was a very big project. And as you can see, I have here just few layers, all right? Just few layers. And if I want to change this scene, which is here below, I just can go here over the artboard and then I can easily switch to a another scene as you can see if I go to here archboard I can switch easily right if I want uh, to go to my original document I can click here edit document and I think it will open the document that I made all those scenes show you how I made the car's assets I have here this car affinity design project I'll click here twice okay and then I think we open here this another project and what I want to do that case after I open that project I will bring this here okay I'll drag this and then I will resize and make this here in my side I want to explain to you the difference as you can see, I've just clicked it here, which means that this project it is embedded. So if I change here, it's changing on here. So you need to pay attention because the layers on here, as you can see, I have all the cars that I made. All right. So if I disable this and then I will enable this car here, as you can see, it's going to change over there. But if I click somewhere in this space, in this document here, Affinity will bring the layers related to this project that is open it here, which means that this is, this is the main project that is hosting another project all right and this is very great because it makes your project very let's say a light to work with imagine if i bring all these layers here inside of the same document it's gonna be very laggy very heavy for affinity to handle with you know many many and big projects now if i'm working as graphic designer let me show you how that tricks works I have here this project that I made for my Affinity Design 2.0 course where you can get here on the description below. In that case, I have this artboard as you can see. And then I want to bring uh, only this, you know, artboard inside the preview, okay? Which is gonna be very nice. And of course, I teach you much more on my course. But in that case, I will show you this example. I'll bring here my mockup file, which is this one, as you can see. And then I'm going to resize. Look at this. What I want to do it is to bring this artboard here inside without copying the elements. Because if I copy the elements over here, it's not going to change after I change on here. All right. And then what I want to do it is to synchronize. All right. To do that, you need to open the the place where is the folder which is going to be here file open folder in explorer and then i'll bring this document here inside as you can see affinity has just added this document over here it's being applied inside of this curve that it is here okay oh right, just to show you how that works So here below, I have my preview, as you can see, okay? And here, there is the document that it is this guy here. And if I change this preview to another one, I can go here and then I can click to another, as you can see. What you need to really take care, it is the resource manager panel. I will click here over, you know, this resource manager. You need to keep this project open, okay? As you can see, you can make as embed or as linked. I usually use more the linked because it's gonna make the project let's say separated okay it's linked and then for example if I change the color on here I need to uh, hit save button so I'll press ctrl s and then affinity will apply to the preview as well and here the message saying that the linked resource has changed so if I want to right now to change this artboard that case here or click in this document as you can see and change the artboard to another one which is this guy here by doing that you're gonna have much and better control over your big project like i did here well if you want to learn much more than this you can get my new affinity design 2.0 course where i explain everything 
from beginner to advanced. That's it for now. If you really enjoyed this tutorial, please leave me a comment and like here because you know it's very hard to bring a tutorial like this here on this channel. Well, thank you so much, and I'll see you in another tutorial. Take care and bye bye.